Live back with you tonight on In Focus, former President Thabo Mbeki and his foundation will host the 13th annual lecture in Guinea's capital city, Konakrai. The West African nation was once the home of legendary South African singer Miriam Makeba uh, for 10 years while in exile. News of Africa's senior politics reporter Zianda Ngobo is live for us uh, in Konakrai. Big day tomorrow, Zianda. What are you expecting uh, will be coming out of this lecture? Well, Tabo, you'll know that every year Africa Day is commemorated on the 25th, but this time the Mbeki Foundation has decided to bring the commemoration to Guinea Conakry, where, of course, uh, there will be the annual Mbeki lecture that's taking place this Saturday. It will be led by Prof. Siba uh, Grovungai, and uh, that will be uh, on, uh, at the, one of the universities here in Guinea Conakry. But uh, certainly tomorrow there will also be a briefing by the former president, and we're also hoping to get a sense from him on other issues plagued by the African continent. You'll know that there's that raging war in Sudan. In fact, uh, part of the reason why he's only arriving this evening is because we're told that he was uh, dealing with some interventions with regards to that uh, matter. And you'll know that the commemoration of Africa Day is really to look at the gains that have been made by the African continent. And with this year's theme, uh, it's around the African continental free trade area, which will basically create a single market for the trade of goods for the 1.3 billion uh, citizens citizens who live on this continent and you'll know it's also to remember the, fo the founding of the Organization of African Unity and that's now known as the African Union. So 60 years since its existence, what has it achieved? And so this is the point of us being here and several activities taking place over the next coming uh, days, including a Miriam Makeba tribute. You've just mentioned that she spent her, a, a lot of time here, uh, 10 years to be exact, in exile. So artists such as Simpiwa Dana will also be remembering her here in Guinea Conakry. Who else is expected as far as dignitaries, uh, Sianda, to be a part of uh, the event? So there will also be the ambassador uh, from to, to Guinea, I should say, uh, that will also be joining us. But certainly the patron of the Tabumbegi Foundation will be visiting and speaking to West African academics. He'll also be meeting with the uh, Chamber of Commerce for Mines uh, here in Guinea, Conakry. But as I've mentioned, the main focus will be for tomorrow, Africa Day, of course, as well as that annual Mbeki lecture. The foundation taking up a challenge that was given to to them by other um, countries to say for 12 years you've celebrated Africa Day which is meant to be a celebration for the entire continent in South Africa why not bring it to other parts of the continent and so the patron of the foundation heeding that call and bringing it to Guinea Conakry so we'll hear from him why he chose to come to this country which by the way Itabo is uh, has a transitional government in place as we speak after a coup in October 2021 so it's one of those countries that's currently war torn and there are several issues plagued by this country much like many other African countries that are mineral resource rich but actually are having one of the highest poverty levels on the continent perhaps then uh, here to boost and also bring some kind of uh, intervention and stability as this country tries to actually install a democratic government landing in Guinea Zianda, do, do, what, what sense do you get from the people right from the airport as you are being driv driven around to, uh, to your venue uh, in terms of their attitude uh, towards the country and its development. Well, we actually visited a market earlier on, the Niger market. It's one of the very many uh, um, markets that are here in Guinea Conakry. Of course, this is the hub of economic activity. It's quite a small country in comparison to ours, the population of about 13 million people. And the sense that I get is that it's a country that is very poverty stricken and uh, is in desperate and dire need of development. You'll know that the current uh, you know, president is a transitional president. Um, that's my 
Mamaya Dombaya. He is actually a military officer and was part of actually that coup to oust Conde in 2021. And since then, there hasn't been much stability. So it's a country that's literally on its knees. And it's a mineral resource rich country of backside, if I'm not mistaken, which is basically a type of aluminium. So it's, 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 a, it's a resource rich country. But in terms of the development, you can see the poverty as you drive from the airport right through uh, to where we are, which happens to be one of the tourism uh, areas or very few tourism areas in the market. We saw, you know, just um, uh, textile. Uh, that's the part that we got to see where basically the locals are making uh, dresses such as the one that I'm currently wearing right now. But also in terms of, um, you know, being able to buy, um, uh, you know, these uh, products, there's not much uh, that can be bought. In fact, I spoke to one of those who is making, um, you know, garments, dresses such as the one I'm wearing, as I've mentioned, and saying that at best he sells at about around two dresses a day, which is not nearly enough for him to sustain his uh, family. And he's been working at that Niger market for about 18 years. But what has helped them, however, is that they sell some of their garments to the nearby Sierra Leone, as well as Cote d'Ivoire here in the West African parts of the continent. Uh, Zianda Ngobo, much appreciated. Thanks uh, for coming on uh, tonight. That's uh, Zianda Ngobo live there in Guinea, Conakry.